Welcome to the Black Mountains and the 51st original mountain marathon. We're at the 51st on in a field, in a tent in a field in Wales, ready for the off tomorrow and looking forward to it. I think it's a course planner's dream, this area, really. It can put some very technical controls out. Put those two at 20 to bring you in either way, but then you've got a 10 there as well, which means going downhill to climb back up again. But if you come this way, you get a 20 in your heart, you stay high then. Yeah, let's do that. But you're sort of committed to, if you can get through here without being out of bounds, you can come up onto this side and collect up on this side there. Then. Do you choose a high level route going up and over or do you choose the slightly longer route and go around the, the, the lumps that, that, that we've got? What, uh, what do you do? I follow you. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing the score event, so we've got a strategy of six hours tomorrow, uh, and we choose our route within that. <laughs> well done. <laughs> We're going to sort of get into the campsite, still be chatting with each other, uh, and then sort of try and squeeze ourselves into our little tent. Time that we've yes. done one together. This is my first arm. And my 27th arm. Yeah. We've got some chorizo, we've got. Normally go whiskey, but uh, fancy the beer. Day one done. Good day. Good day? Good day. Yeah. Oh, we had a slight disagreement at the end. Oh no, we didn't. <laughs> about about oh. whether to go for 20 points. <laughs> oh. oh. Which we got, we got them in the end. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Are we all happy? You're getting happier as the day goes on. Brilliant. Goes at seven o'clock. You've got to do an arm. You've got to do an arm. It's just a bucket list event. It really is. It was a, it was a no brainer. Absolute no brainer. Can't wait. Cannot wait to get started. Because he just, as I say, you're up there and the world's a better place. You're a proper person once you've, once you've been exposed up there a little bit. And that's what I think it takes. Just uh, the case of just, you know, just problem solving. So this is my, my, obviously my officially my 19th, but my 20th, my partner who's with me, it's his 17th. So between us, we've done quite a few and uh, we're absolutely loving it. And uh, I wouldn't be anywhere else at this moment in time. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. This event 51 years ago was first devised to see who is the most competent person in the mountains. And I think if you are the most competent person in the mountains, then that pr puts you pretty high in the running for most competent person, just full stop. It was really good. Yeah. Such nice running today. Weather conditions are perfect. The core setting was aggressive. <laughs> He just kept throwing us off either side of the ridge. And you're like, you're down 150 metres and then having to just turn back and go back, run back on the top. But stunning, absolutely stunning. The area is beautiful. And the scenery is amazing. It, it couldn't be any better. So yeah, really enjoyed it. So we, we ended up trying to think like sheep. Uh, so we just tried to think, where do the sheep walk? And then we followed those tracks. And it worked really well, especially on the second day. The first day was a big learning curve and then we really put it into action on the second day. Who sang that? Uh, can we have less singing, please? You're not here to enjoy yourself. I know, I know. People think, what's going on?